For three months, Leonard McIver has been able to live with his wife and son while recovering from his addictions. You know, he's starting to walk and whatnot. And yeah, just making me happy. Really happy to be here. The family is living at the Aurora Reunification Home in Brandon, west of Winnipeg. What used to be the Redwood Motor Motel, a hub for illegal activity, is now a place that provides a safe, sober living environment. Over 20 families live here. The majority are Indigenous. Parents can keep their children out of the child welfare system, learn the basics of parenting while receiving support 24-7. Residents must first go through an addictions recovery program to stay here. For McIver, it's given him a chance to build a stronger relationship with his wife. We came a long way of healing, so that I, see, I love it. It's a good progress. You know. The program helps Shirley Bolio stay connected with her culture, with access to elders and teachings. Her new addiction? Beating. She says she's been breaking an ongoing cycle of addictions in her family. Her three children are now back in her care. Realizing like, how bad it was for me to drink and all that. I lost my kids to CFS. I was sick of it. And my kids want their mom back. But you know, owner Michael Bruno says there's been pushback from yeah. some Brandon residents and city councillors after applying for a zoning variance. He says he got the go ahead to run the program before it opened in June. Like maybe I even feel like there might be some racism involved. I went to the city and I talked to the city, the city planners, told them what I was doing. They said, great idea. They love, how's my zoning for, hotel zoning is fantastic. So then I went ahead, I, I, I wouldn't have purchased the hotel if I knew there'd be problems. So I purchased the hotel, I opened up in June, and all of a sudden I got a call from the city saying I had to get a, a, a rezoning. I do feel this is a special needs housing uh, and, and as us is not permitted in our zoning bylaw. At a public hearing in August, the location, access to playgrounds and services came into question. The team at Aurora has since fenced in the parking lot and is currently transforming the space into a play area and a daycare is currently under renovations. APTN asked the city of Brandon more about the issues that were raised at the hearing. No one was available for an interview. In an email, the city states, the planning commission initially denied the application. On Tuesday evening, city council will be holding a third public hearing to reconsider. For all parents here, the main goal is to get employment and housing. Even those that leave come back for visits. We need this kind of place. It's, it's well needed and like, for what it's done for me, like people don't see that and I wish they can. Drumming and singing together has been a regular occurrence, introducing their children to culture and a community. Tamara Pimentel, APTN National News, Brandon.